Hello my crafty friends and welcome back to another Mixed Media Tuesday. Today I'm going to create a page on my smallest art journal by Art by Marlene. This is the handy size. I have already created a few pages on this journal and I did share them on a previous video. And there are refill packs of different kind of pages that you can use for this journal, including white watercolor, craft and black. For today I'm going with a black background. Today I'm going to play with acrylics and it's a great opportunity to use my new brushes. Art by Marlene has come up with three different sets. Each of them has a different tip. I chose to go with the flat tip one. And I'm going to play with the middle size. For my acrylics I chose to go with a light blue and a white one. These are acrylic paints from the Art by Marlene collection. The, their actual names are Lace for the white and Mermaid for the blue one. Now I'm going to go with a technique which is dry on dry, so I didn't dip my brush at all in water. I'm just going directly on the paint and applying it. This is going to make sure that I apply enough paint. It's going to cover up some of the background and I'm mixing the colors directly on my paper. I'm not going to add too much color there and um, I'm not going to cover up completely the whole page. I like to have a little bit of that black showing through. It's a really quick and simple technique to work on black background. Just use your two favorite colors, mix them up, leaving some of the black showing through. You will end up with a beautiful background in no time. Now let's add some visual texture on the background. I will use a stencil for that. I'm going with a really versatile stencil with lots of dots. This is actually called Pac-Man. And again I'm going over it with my acrylic paint, the white acrylic paint. You can do that with your brush. I just find it easier to go over stencils with those dabbers. I'm going to leave the stencil so you can see the result. I'm really happy with the result and let's go ahead and do some stamping now. For that I'm going to use stamps from this stamp set, this is called Mixed Media Play. It is a new stamp set by Art by Marlene and it is full of uh, stamps that are perfect for adding some visual texture on your background. For that I did go with my white pigment ink and I stamped a few here and there. The pigment ink needs a lot of time to dry, so I'm going to put that aside. And in the meantime, I'm going to look for my focal points. Today's art journal is super easy to put together, as I'm going to use ready-made cutout elements. This is a booklet designed by Arpa Marlene. It is a mega booklet. You will find tons and tons of designs. I did use it in a previous video as well. And at the end, you will see that there are uh, pattern papers, so you can actually use those for your background. Now my background isn't busy, so I can use any color that I like on top, and I can go really colorful. So I picked a few of the elements, mainly houses, and I was thinking to create kind of a city. And the truth is that you get so many elements in the booklet, which makes it really difficult to choose what you're going to use. So there were tons of houses, even more than the ones that I popped out. You will find lots of banners that work great as clouds, but also as a ground. This would also be great for borders as well. So I, I stuck one of those down and this is going to be kind of a ground for my little city. And then I'm going to stick everything down. For that I'm using my white glue. This is the white glue by Art by Marlene. And as I'm sticking them down I'm making sure that I don't add too much glue. So that uh, later on I can easily lift the sides and tuck underneath other elements. As I create the cluster of the houses, I make sure that not all the houses are in a row in the same uh, height. I also make sure that um, attaching houses do have uh, different colors so that I create a little bit of a contrast. And this is where I thought that I have enough houses already, so I'm going to stop with that. And let's embellish the whole page a little bit more. I do have the moon. The moment you stick that down, it looks like it's night. You can also add some clouds. I decided not to. There are many stars that you can work with. Now let's embellish our little town. In the beginning I was thinking that I can embellish them just for the fun of it with feathers. But at the end I decided to go with flowers and leaves. 
And this is where I'm having lots of fun trying to find elements to embellish the houses, looking for flowers, for leaves. And you can see here I'm even eating some snack. I love my strawberries. And I know that sometimes it looks as if I put together those art journal pages in no time, but trust me, I do take my time, I really enjoy the process. And what really gives me joy in art journaling is uh, the process and not the finished project. So here finally I decided which leaves and flowers I'm going to use, and I choose them based on their colors as well as on their sizes. I'm also using my white gel pen to add some highlights on all those cutouts. By the way, if you notice on these cutouts, there is a little bit of uh, a border all around, however, it's not bright white, so it didn't bother me at all and I left it as it was. If you want, you can be super neat and go with your scissors to cut exactly on the black lines. I'm also using a thin black marker to go around some of the cutouts. This is going to help them stand out even more. And then this is where I decided that I needed to somehow embellish the house at the top. So I'm going with a leaf and a flower. I did cut out the leaf in half so that I can make the most out of it. And really you can keep on adding on this little composition. You can go with clouds, you can go with little birds, you can go with stars if you like. I decided to stop here. And then of course I do have to add the same details on these cutouts. So again, with my gel pen, I'm adding the highlights. And now I have to choose a quote. There are many different options provided by Art by Marlene. These are the sticky quotes from an older collection, but I still use them a lot. This is the newest booklet. It includes both colorful stickers that work as focal points as well as quotes. And then there is a pack of ribbons that you can use. Lots of quotes, bigger and smaller ones. And the good thing about using Grabons is that it is transparent all around, so you don't end up having a border if you don't like that. In any case, for my quote today, I'm going with one from the latest booklet that says, Open your mind, it's beautiful inside. And you probably know the finishing touch is to add some white splashes to finish it off. I'm going to put this page back in my art journal. And that was the project for today, I hope that you had fun and that you got inspired. Just like always, down below in the description area you will find links to everything I used. Thank you all so much for joining me and I'll see you all next time.